Okay, so what's going on here is we have a weight hanging from two cables. There they are. Um, they're both diagonal, so we can think about them as diagonal vectors. The thing about diagonal vectors is they all have a vertical component, and they have a horizontal component. Vertical component, and a horizontal component. Alright, so then this is nice because we have a nice right triangle that we're forming. And then basic uh, result from Euclidean geometry, we can bring this 40 down here and bring the 55 down here. So now we have ni two nice right triangles and we're going to call the vertical component of the T1 cable X1 and the horizontal component Y1. Uh, sorry, reverse that. The vertical component is Y1 the horizontal is X1. And then for T2 we have Y2 and X2. We want to solve for y1, x1, x2, y2. We want to put them in, uh, we want to uh, find an expression to represent them. So we're going to use right triangle trigonometry. So using sine and cosine, if we do sine of 40, that's equal to the opposite side, y1, over the hypotenuse, t1. So that's equal to y1 over t1. So then if we want to solve for y1, we just multiply by t1 on both sides. We get y1 equals t1 times sine 40. And then if we want to find the vertical or the horizontal component, we do cosine 40. And that's equal to the adjacent x1 over the hypotenuse t1. So we get equals x1 over t1. So then uh, we get that x1 equals t1 times cosine 40. I'm not going to go through it. A similar method over here will give us y2 and x2. We get y2 equals t2 sine 55 and x2 equals t2 cosine 55. So now we have to get our system of equations. So the thing is that the, or the vertical ones, the vertical components have to add up to 3,500 because that's how much weight we have. That is the downward force that is occurring. It's 3,500 pounds. So our two uh, vertical components must add up to 3,500 pounds. So we get T1 sine 40 plus T2 um, sine 55. And that's going to be equal to 3,500 all right, the thing about our horizontal components is they must be equal because this weight isn't swinging around. It's just stand, it's, it's stable. And if it's not stable, it's going to swing until it becomes stable. So it must be stable. So we don't, have one, um, we don't have one horizontal component pulling more than the other one. They must be balancing each other out to keep this weight stable. So what we have, it, uh, what we have then is we have, I'm going to do this in red so I can put the final in black. We get that t, uh, t1 cosine 40 equals t2 cosine 55. Okay, those are equal. So then we subtract it over. We get t1 cosine 40 minus t2 cosine 55. And that's going to be equal to zero. So then there's the addition of our uh, hor uh, our horizontal components, and here's the addition of our vertical components. We have a nice system of equations. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it in a matrix. Okay, so this is going to be our T1 column. This is going to be our T2 column. So for the first T1, we have sine 40. For the second T1, we have cosine 40. All right, and then we're adding sine 55. And then we're subtracting cosine 55. All right, and then in our calculator, we have to take, the, uh, take this to the negative 1 power, just like we did in class today. And then we have to multiply it by our solution matrix. Okay, so our solution matrix is 3,500 and then 0. And those numbers just come from right here, 3,500 and zero. All right, cosine 55 right here, sine 55 right here, sine 40 right here, cosine 40 right there. So then 
we just have to plug this into the calculator, just like we did today using a matrix. So one sec, I'm going to do that. Pause. Okay, so I just plugged that into a calculator, just like you see it here. Uh, you're going to have to review how to do that, um, either in your notes or whatever. Uh, it's you got to use alpha zoom to get to the matrix feature on a TI-84. So when I plugged it in, I got the final matrix of 2015.1. I'm just going to round it up to 1.9, and then 2,691, I'm going to round that to 0.4, okay, so then we get that C1 equals 2,000, I guess this is, we did T's, didn't we, not C's, that's from before, okay, T1 equals 2,015.19, T2 equals 26.91, Four. Um, a couple things to realize. Bigger tension is always going to be uh, attached to the bigger angle, so T2 must be the bigger one. Okay, T2 is bigger. Angle smaller here, smaller tension. Okay. Uh, so that the, that's our final answer. There's our tension and our two cables.